guys and welcome to How's Rig. My name is Chico and I'll be your host today. Today we're going to be uh, reviewing a Banquet Deep Dish Cheesy Ham and Potato Pot Pie. It says uh, cheese, potato and ham in a flaky crust. Now there's a little statement under here, it's got me a little confused. It says contains 7% meat. Meat pie contains 25% meat. Now, I'm going to try and get a close-up of that because I'm confused. But, um, here it is. And, I, like I said, I'll get you a close-up of the box. <coughs> Doesn't even look very appetizing on the box. So I'm a little nervous about this one here. Um, cooking instructions, uh, pretty simple. 1100-watt uh, microwave oven, 4 to 5 minutes. Uh, do not cook in a microwave uh, below 100 or 1,100 watts. Um, I don't know why not. I mean, just leave it in there longer, right? At least that makes sense to me. But who knows? Um, check that the product is thoroughly cooked with a thermometer. We know we're not going to do that because when it's bubbling, it's hot. Um, let's see what we've got for nutritional factors. Okay, this is one serving, and it's got 410 calories in it, and uh, 200 of them are from fat. The total fat is 22 grams at 34% 30 of your uh, daily uh, suggested intake. Uh, saturated fat is 9 grams at 45%. And total trans fats are zero. Cholesterol is 30 milligrams at 10%. Your cardiologist, cardiologist is going to love you. And sodium is 740 milligrams. We got a little salt in this puppy. That's 31% of your daily allowance. Uh, potassium is 260 milligrams at 7%. Total carbohydrates are 44 grams. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, that's 15% of your daily uh, allowable intake. And dietary fiber is 3 grams from the looks of this thing on the picture. I wish there was a little more fiber in it. And that's at 12%. And sugar is at 8 grams. And protein is 10 grams, and they don't give us the uh, daily on that. And then it just lists all your vitamins and all that good stuff. So, ingredients, um, they hit them. Ah, here they are. Well, it says the filling is a cheese sauce, water, club cheddar cheese, pasteurized cultured milk, salt, enzymes, annatto color, okay. Um, annatto color, I don't think I've, I'm not familiar with that color. But I'm sure uh, you girls out there probably are. I don't. Is it something I'd want to paint my bedroom in, or I mean, is it a decent color? I don't know. Uh, contains two percent uh, less of whey, modified cornstarch, soybean oil, flour, wheat. Got a lot of stuff in there. Um, and uh, well, what do you know? Ingredients: pork cured with water, uh, and sodium lactate, salt, dextrose, corn syrup, sodium phosphate. Um, I did, I'm there, there's the potatoes, they do have potatoes in it, and uh, that's the only thing I can recognize, everything else is stuff that you probably wouldn't have in your, in your, um, in your uh, cabinet there, you know, it's not like you'd reach in there and grab some dextrose or uh, sodium dicotate and uh, sodium bait. I don't think I have that in my cabinet. Like I said, I'm a little nervous about this puppy, but Hey, for you guys, I'll try it, and I'll let you know if it's any good. But uh, as I say, I don't have a lot of uh, expect high expectations for this. What I'm hoping is that, you know, it's, it's filling, and I'm hoping that it tastes good, and I'm hoping to see some ham and potatoes in there. Um, I'm sure the cheese will be just, you know, creamy gravy kind of thing. But, hey, if it tastes good, 88 cents at Walmart, you know can't really beat it for a quick breakfast when you're in a hurry. Uh, you know, when somebody's knocking at the door and you got to go somewhere and you got to eat something quick, this will probably do the trick. So you might as well get two of them for the person that's got to wait. Um, so let's give her a shot. I'm going to pop this in a white microwave for four minutes, five minutes, and see what happens. See you in a little bit. Okay, guys, while we're microwaving, I uh, wanted to take a shot close up of that that questionable uh, verbiage there contains 7% meat, meat pie contains 25% meat. If anybody knows what they're talking about, please let me know in the comments. Thanks. 
Well, we're back from the microwave oven. It's been about five minutes, and our little pie looks very nice there. I kind of forgot to put a hole in it, so it puffed up quite nicely. Um, crust is nice, um, firm. Um, it smells really good. So, and it didn't leak. There's a new one. I didn't know what to do, fork or knife. So we're going to start with a fork and see what happens. And I'm really hoping that uh, this thing is good. So let's see what we've got here. Well, it's definitely cheesy. And it's definitely hot. And I do see some ham in there, guys. And I also see the potatoes. So see if I can do this without burning myself. Here it goes. Mm. Well, I can tell you it's very good. First bite, nice crust. It actually is flaky. Um, as you can see, it's, it's, it's very nice and flaky. Um, as far as pot pies go, I've noticed that Banquet really has nice, flavorful little pies. The pot pies are very good. The other meals, I don't care for too much. But their pot pies have been pretty, um, pretty tasty and lived up to my expectations. Now, as I said, this is very cheap. It's 88 cents, very simple to prepare. And, um, make a nice little breakfast. Very good. I can taste the cheese. It's not very overpowering. It goes nicely with the potatoes that are in there. Uh, the potatoes are nice and tender. And um, the ham is very good. It's not overly salty. I expected this to be much more salty. So, um, that being said, I have to give this, um, I'm going to give it a four and three quarter. Um, the only thing is that there's not quite enough of that cheesy sauce, so I have a fairly dry consistency here. But uh, everything else about the pie is great. I recommend it highly. So, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.